Greetings YouTube, Farmer Son Prepping here. Uh, today I have a package update. It, we have it. I got my Whoopie finally. I got my lantern, my little blow up Luminade lantern that I've ordered. I got that. My toilet paper tablets that I ordered. Got that. And my little uh, weather gauge for my zipper pull on my pack. So, stepbrother had it. Same one that went through my Chewy package. Yeah, he had it. Wasn't in a box when I received it. It wasn't in a box. He said he found it on his porch. It was rained on, so they threw the box away. Whatever. I'm just thankful to have it. That was... 70 something dollars I thought I'd never see again so praise the Lord package has been delivered uh, and everything is here so thank God for that I don't know what they're thinking down there or what they're doing anyway I wanted to rank some of the prepper gifts that I received uh, uh, I'm going to like I use a uh, a Prepper usefulness scale. Uh, first off, I'm very thankful for everything that I received for Christmas. Uh, and this is just, you know, this what I'm going to show is just a tiny part of what I received. Most of my other gifts were not Prepper related, but there were a few that were. So, let's get started. First item up here is a mini hatchet multi-tool thing got some multi-tool functions on it on the prepper usefulness scale i give this a two uh, um, first of all multi-tool is kind of a personal choice item uh if you ask me uh people who carry multi-tools kind of want to pick their own one um this thing comes in a nice sheath and everything, but uh, uh, the usefulness of it, as far as I'm concerned, I, I don't know. Uh, it's got like some, uh, look, it's a tiny, teeny hatchet. It's a hammer on the other side, and then you got your typical knife blade saw blade screwdriver can opener and stuff inside the handle right there um so i like where they're going with it i like the saw of it but uh that little hatchet is teeny weeny there's no way i mean i've got a real hatchet out there that i would prefer to have or really i would prefer to use my silky but um Nice try. Nice try, fam. Uh, I like it that you're thinking about me. So, uh, Two on the uh, usefulness scale. Prepper usefulness scale. All right, the next item up is the Duraflame Fire Start Log. Awesome. I give that a five on the usefulness scale. Something I can use. Start a fire. Um... Here we have a pocket knife. My family, uh, certain members of my family from time to time do a little traveling. They picked up this pocket knife for me at Glacier National Park. It's got Glacier National Park on it. I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, and it's also got my name on it. Let's see. It's uh, China made. Uh, half the blade is serrated. Uh, I give that a two on the prepper usefulness scale. I'm making this video, by the way. I, I forgot to say this. I'm making this video for next year. Like, hopefully, we'll still be here. Praise the Lord if we are. Uh, for people who are trying to buy gifts for preppers, uh, you know, maybe this is something that can help them. So, all right. Next item up. Orange paracord. Yes, please. Uh, 
five stars on the prayer for usefulness scale. Definitely always use more paracord. Uh, we have your gimmicky um, survival bracelet. Y'all can see that. It's got a little light on it and it's got a compass on it. It's got a little whistle built in. Of course, it's got the, uh, the ferro rod and the scraper for that. Um, mm, yeah. I give it a two stars ranking on the prepper usefulness scale uh, as a gift. Two stars. Uh, I like the thought, you know. Okay, next up. Huh, still got some uh, wrapping paper on it, but stormproof matches. Stormproof matches. Uh, yes. We'll give them a, a five on the usefulness scale. I can use these. Absolutely. To start a fire with. Great item. Great stocking stuff or whatever. Okay, we have another item right here. <clears throat> uh, this says Port Near on it. And I believe... Let me see if I can get it open here. Which way did I open it? I believe this is a compass. Uh, I've already opened it, so I know it's a compass. But anyway, uh, check it. Nice little belt pouch here. Pretty cool. Got the little strap on the back. You can put it on your belt. Um, I have no idea. This thing is, uh, hmm. It's got some weight to it. I like that. Kind of beefy. Okay. It's got um, it's got the rotating bezel. Let me show you. Closed it first so you can see it. You can rotate the bezel there on the side. It's got a ruler on that end. Um, it has the slot where you can put the uh, the red in the shed or the dog in the doghouse. Um. It's also got a little leveling bubble on here. I'll give y'all a better look at it. I may have to do some research on this. This thing feels like it's pretty good quality. Uh, so, I mean, I've got my Sunto MC2. That's my go-to compass. But this might become number two in the compass lineup. That thing is pretty sweet. Um, I've got, you know, tons of compasses, but they're, most of them are, you know, little cheapies. But this looks pretty cool. I'm liking that. I'm giving this a five, no doubt. Five on the uh, prepper usefulness scale. I might put my Sunto in that pouch. <laughs> but because uh, this is a pretty heavy unit here, but uh, it's quality. Feels like quality. I'll have to do some research on the name Port Near or whatever. Next item up. We have ourselves a tarp, y'all. We have a nine by 12 foot heavy duty 10 mil tarp in gray. Yes, please. I'll take a tarp, another tarp. Yes, please. Excellent item. Five stars on the prepper usefulness scale. I'm gonna set that. The desk is getting full, y'all. All right, let's see what else we got here. Uh, not too familiar with this product here. It's called Funky Flames. Um, um, uh, uh, apparently it's some sort of party favor where you change the color of your fire with Funky Flames. Warning, eye irritant. Watch out, y'all. Um, uh, yeah. One star. One star on the prepper usefulness scale. One star. For funky flames. Okay? I don't even know if that's a prepping item or not, but it was in with all my other stuff. So, I, yeah. Um, there's a bug on my hand. Get away. Stink bug. Oh, yeah. This is not a prepping item, but I thought it was very cool. German Shepherd puppy calendar. Yay. So anyway. Uh, here we go. Next prepper type item. 
We got some seeds. Seeds are good. Preppers like seeds. This is a bee feed <coughs> flour mix. Bee feed flour mix. Um, give that two. No, nah, we'll give that three stars. Three on the pepper usefulness scale. Might not be bad to have butterflies and bees around in your yard. Okay, they can, you know, do their job and. All right. Next item up, the Commando Cable Saw. Uh, I have had a hundred of these things. Uh, you use them for like 20 minutes and they break. If they heat up, they get too hot, they will break. I give it a one on the prepper usefulness scale. I love the salt though. Uh, so let's see what else we got. I think this is the last. No, it's not the last thing yet. This is a survival kit in a sardine can. Survival kit in the sardine can. I'm trying to get it where y'all can see it. Uh, I like the thought on that. I like that. It's got a bunch of stuff packed in there. It's got fish hooks, fishing line. Uh, note paper, pencil, razor blade. Uh, it's got a whistle in there. It's got some duct tape. Uh, yes, I like it. What if you have to travel super light? I like that. Um, I'll give that a four on the prepper usefulness scale. Number four. Okay. I like that. Pretty cool. Uh, this was kind of an awkward moment when I opened it. I was like, gee, thanks for the zipper pouch. But, come to find out, this is a uh, fireproof document pouch. Yes, fireproof document pouch. Very useful on the prepper usefulness scale. We'll give this five stars. Uh, so yeah, I've got something to put some documents in. It's supposed to be fireproof. Uh, so if you have any, um, intel on how good these are, this is a Jun Dunn. Never heard of it. Look. Jun, Jun Dunn. So, uh, I love the idea. Uh, help me protect my documents. I'll give it a five. Just on the idea uh, for a Christmas gift. So there we go, y'all. That is all the Christmas. Well, that's not that's not all my Christmas, but that's all the prepper-related Christmas gifts that I got so far. So uh, I wanted to make this video, and maybe this will help someone next year. This is the year. This is December 2021. Uh, so maybe this will help somebody next year. <coughs> If we're still here, God willing. Let me read my thing here. Romans 12, 21. Be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. Remember, we are to be kind to one another. Uh, we're not supposed to render evil for evil. We're supposed to overcome it with good, like the thing says there. Uh, so we all need to remember that. None of us are perfect. Uh, you know, that's why we need Jesus. So y'all... Have a Merry Christmas, and God bless you all from Farmer Son Prepping. Have a good one. I'm going to stop.